Welcome back, Little Red Garage. Uh, as you can see, we're over at the storage unit where Little Red has sat since November. Uh, we're gonna get it uncovered and try to fire it up for the first time in six months. So uh, enjoy the video. First time that I've been here since November. I usually come during the winter, check on her a few times, but for whatever reason, I never made it over here this year. So I had to do a quick walk around and check it out, make sure there's no uh, evidence of mice, uh, anything like that. Uh, like all the all the tires are holding there. It looks pretty good so far. Uh, it should have a half a tank or more of uh, non-ethanol gas and I use a little fuel stabilizer in it also so we should be good with that. Go ahead and pop the hood here. Again I want to check for any evidence of mice. This is uh, this is a new storage unit for me this year. I actually moved it here and uh, we got some woods and stuff here in the back so but it's a brand new unit uh, it's the first time anything's been in it and uh, it seals up real nice real nice all metal construction really nice place and uh, I don't see any evidence of anything in here so that's a good sign uh, again I just want to check over my wiring as you can see the battery is still hooked up uh, I never have any draws with this truck, so I never really unhook the battery. Um, this battery is very old. Uh, I want to say this was put in in like 2007, so almost 15 years old this battery is. It's never been boosted, it's never been had a starter pack on it, it's never been jumped never had a charger on it so hopefully it's still holding the charge uh, let's see I got the chrome uh, Chrysler electronic ignition module or uh, control unit uh, this is an old one I had uh, one of the new parts stores one failed on me uh, this one's been holding strong for a while Hopefully that's still good. I do have a, a backup for that just in case. Uh, you can see this is the original thermal quad. Uh, this engine and transmission, the whole drivetrain of this truck is an original survivor. Uh, it's never been touched uh, besides uh, basic maintenance stuff, spark plugs, wires, cap rotor. I think I've done an alternator, uh, belts fuel pump but the uh, main components this has never even had gaskets on the valve covers uh, the carburetor is unrebuilt original uh, same with the transmission has never been touched uh, the truck has been repainted about 20 years ago uh, so a new paint uh, at that time I did the decals and I redid the wood But uh, other than that, this is a 42,000 mile original truck. Uh, again, the interior is also untouched. Uh, original, original seat, carpeting, dash, door panels, everything original. We'll check the mileage here. It's like 
42,919. So we're gonna hit 43,000 this year. I really only get a couple hundred miles a year on this truck. So yeah, check under the air cleaner, make sure there's no moist nests. I guess we'll uh, get inside and see if she'll fire up. It's a little dark in here. Should have brought a light with me. Let's see if we get anything. The key on. Looks like we're getting a gas gauge working. That's a good sign. Means we got some power from the battery. So I'm going to let it crank. It's going to take a little bit to get the fuel back up, but I want it to build some oil pressure. Let's give her the first crank. This battery is unbelievable. 15 year old interstate battery. It amazes me every time I get in this truck. It's a little chilly today. It's about 55 degrees, not too bad, but I can, does, uh, seem a little bit slow I think I see the fuel pressure or the uh, oil pressure gauge just started to move Looks like I got a little less gas than I thought I don't know. And we got a little less than half a tank. Yep, we got, we're starting to get a little oil pressure building. So, see if she'll fire this time. Give it a little gas.
dusty. I think the wheels need some polishing. As they do every year. And overall looks pretty good. Sounds good. today or else I'd probably bring it home and uh, give her spring spring cleaning I figure we should at least check the oil. Probably should have done that before I fired it up. But let's see. Uh, this oil probably only has three or four hundred miles on it. If it was, uh, it's been in there since 2020. So it's been a couple of years. I just ordered a bunch of Lucas hot rod oil with a zinc additive. So we'll be uh, we'll be getting an oil change here soon. But I want to at least check it. so clean it's unbelievable yeah. looks like it might be down like a quarter of a quart I know the valve seals are starting to go that's pretty close that's some pretty clean oil for two years old One more time. That's where I'm going to end this video, guys. I uh, appreciate you watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't done that. And, uh, until next time, take it easy.